One shocking prequel trilogy Love Triangle almost made its way into the movies, and there's still a subtle nod to it in Star Wars, Episode 3, Revenge of the Sith. Of all Star Wars movies and TV shows, Star Wars, Episode 2, Attack of the Clones and Revenge of the Sith are the most overtly romantic, albeit tragically so. While Leia and Han Solo also have a prominent relationship, and Rey and Kylo Ren arguably have romantic feelings for one another, Anakin and Padme's is the biggest romance in the franchise. In part, this relationship is what makes Revenge of the Sith one of Star Wars' best movies. In addition to making sense of the events of the original trilogy, Padme and Anakin's secret marriage adds emotional stakes to Star Wars that hadn't quite been there before. However, based on one discarded prequel's plot, their relationship almost looked very different. Anakin kills Padme in a fit of jealousy. You will not take her from me, suggests another layer. In Revenge of the Sith, when Padme arrives on Mustafar, Anakin is immediately on the defensive about Obi-Wan. While he excitedly tells Padme about how they can overthrow Palpatine and rule together, not defensive about what he's done, when Padme confesses that Obi-Wan knows about them, Anakin's face darkens. When she soon after says Obi-Wan was right about him changing, he tells her he doesn't want to hear any more about Obi-Wan. While this could be played off as Anakin simply angry that Obi-Wan helped Padme see the truth, the rest of the scene signals something more. When Anakin sees Obi-Wan appear at the entryway of Padme's ship, he becomes enraged, screaming at Padme that she is a liar when she says she loves him. Notably, Anakin then also says, you're with him. It's then that Anakin begins to choke her. After she falls, this line of thought continues, with Anakin accusing Obi-Wan of turning Padme against him and yelling, you will not take her from me. Again, while much of this dialogue could arguably be attributed to Anakin believing that Obi-Wan will use his turn to the dark side to convince Padme to leave him, this particular language suggests something almost like romantic jealousy. Anakin's claims that Padme was with Obi-Wan and Obi-Wan would take Padme from him are phrases commonly associated with romantic betrayal. This ties into the original plan for Anakin, Padme, and Obi-Wan. Lucas did consider a Star Wars prequel trilogy love triangle. The fan-favorite, Anidala, relationship almost looked very different. The first draft of Star Wars, Episode 1, The Phantom Menace set up a love triangle, with Padme having clear feelings for Obi-Wan. In this version, Obi-Wan would not have been the young Padawan learner, very similar to Anakin in Star Wars, Episode 2, Attack of the Clones, but instead would have been a full-fledged Jedi Knight, closer to Kagan Jin in The Phantom Menace. The root of Padme's feelings would have been Obi-Wan's bravery in standing up to the Queen, which also suggests an interest in that sort of experience and authority. While this likely would never have gone anywhere, given that Padme is the mother of Luke and Leia and Obi-Wan was a Jedi Knight not as willing to break the rules, it would have planted a seed of doubt in Anakin. If he observed those feelings, or became aware of them later, that could have manifested in the type of jealous rage he exhibited on Mustafar in Revenge of the Sith. More than that, it would have mirrored the love triangle that took place in the first Star Wars movie and The Empire Strikes Back, awkwardly including Padme and Anakin's own children. There'd have been a strange echo of the original trilogy in this love triangle. Anakin, Obi-Wan, and Padme wouldn't have been Star Wars' worst love triangle. While there's plenty to critique about Anakin and Padme's relationship, not the least of which is that he chokes her and is largely responsible for her death, the original Star Wars trilogy still holds the title of worst romance. In A New Hope, it wasn't yet established that Luke and Leia were twins. Instead, Luke clearly has feelings for Leia, viewing Han Solo as his competition for winning her over. This worsens in The Empire Strikes Back, in a moment when Leia kisses Luke to put Han in his place. While, for Leia, this kiss was a way of making Han think she didn't have feelings for him, Luke looks very smug after Leia walks away. This kiss has become infamous because, after the reveal in Return of the Jedi that Luke and Leia are twins, it represents something fairly horrifying. It is, to date, still one of Star Wars' oddest, most disturbing choices. This would have been echoed in the potential love triangle between Anakin, Padme, and Obi-Wan, which would have made both all the worse. By forming a prequel trilogy love triangle, Star Wars would have reminded audiences of this awkward romantic history between Luke and Leia, particularly because the new love triangle would include their parents. This was certainly a history the prequels need not repeat.